In this demonstration, we'll show how DataWalk can enable you to easily use data from key internal and external data sources to investigate a fictitious gun crime via link analysis. We start on the DataWalk workspace, where we see that we have an alert for a Nibin hit. This is an alert that was configured to let us know when a ballistics check of a recovered weapon ties to an unsolved case. We have a ballistics match for a weapon that was used in an unsolved homicide. We see that our victim was Tommy Rodriguez, and here's our Nibin report. The suspect is an unknown Hispanic male in his 20s. The location of the crime was the Mango Tango nightclub in Las Vegas. And the suspect was driving a dark F-150 pickup truck. Now, to our Nibin report, we can then add the associated weapon that was recovered. We then add the incident report associated with that weapon. And we see that the weapon was recovered in a car check arrest on February 16th. And, of course, we can visualize the key information, such as the persons and vehicle associated with that incident. We see that we arrested Anthony Guzman, who is in a dark Honda Accord. Guzman is a Hispanic male in his 20s. Our unknown suspect was also a Hispanic male in his 20s, but the vehicles are very different. We can check and see if we have a phone for Anthony. And we do. If we did a dump of his phone, that data can also be examined here in DataWalk, but for the moment we'll hold off on that. When we recovered the weapon, we pinged ATF and asked for an E-Trace report. From that report, we can check when the weapon was purchased and who initially bought it. We see that the weapon was purchased from NBT Firearms in Las Vegas, and Maria Thompson was the original owner. By the way, we see in there that there's a typo in Las Vegas, and this reflects that in DataWalk you can bring in your data in whatever shape it's in and begin using it, if we wanted, and if we have appropriate permissions, then we could correct this. Now, we send investigators out to talk with Maria, and we can check the notes from that interview. For any data element in the system, we can easily see a comprehensive view of all the information we have about that item. We can also see the actual report, and that's right at our fingertips in DataWalk, so I don't have to go looking for it in another system. Now, we'll mention here that if I'm on an active case, and say someone emailed me the report, I can just drag and drop that report right into the system without waiting for it to be loaded later. So I save it to create this object in DataWalk. And as soon as I uploaded this document, Entity Extraction was automatically run against it to highlight and tag people, places, locations, and so forth. Now, from the statement, we learned that Maria bought the weapon for Arturo Perez, who's a convicted felon, so he can't purchase a weapon. We don't have an address for Arturo, but we do have a phone number. Now, I'd like to know if Anthony and Arturo are somehow connected. DataWalk can automatically identify any connection between their two phones. So I specify that I want to find all paths within up to five degrees of separation, and specifically, I'm looking for phones. The system automatically finds that there's no direct connection, but that there is an indirect connection. I load that data, and see that these two individuals have talked to a third party in common. DataWalk can interface with a variety of external systems and services that you might use, and an example would be that we might want to check this phone number against a public record service such as Wooster. Since this is all fictitious data in this case, we won't do that here. In this case, we just check to see if we have data about this phone in our system, and we see that this phone is connected with Roberto Avalos, a Hispanic male in his 20s. We add his vehicles, and he's got a dark F-150. This matches the type of vehicle from the crime in question. We add the license plate to this vehicle. And now we can check this against license plate reader data. And we see that we have four camera reads of this plate. For any data that has geo-coordinates, we can place it on a map. And we see that this vehicle was approaching the Mango Tango nightclub at 12.42 in the morning of the date in question. The shooting was at 2.35. And we see that this vehicle then left the nightclub at 2.40. So now I have a very good suspect in this case. I can save off this link chart and share it with investigators. 
I can also generate a target package if I want. For this, I go to his folder, add any desired information, decide what elements I want to include in the target package. and I can preview the report before sharing it. In this case, we don't have a photo for this individual, so we just use a generic symbol. Now I'll note here that I can use the history function in DataWalk to review each step of the investigation with my command staff. So with this, we've shown how DataWalk can enable you to easily use data from key internal and external data sources to efficiently investigate a gun crime.